Here we're going to be going over an example in deferred tax accounting where we're going to have one temporary difference that's tracked over three years and we're going to have a change in our tax rate. And this is the case where the tax rate actually decreases. Okay, so let's look at our example here and we'll look at it from the tax accounting perspective here. So uh, first we're going to have three years here, year X1, year X2, and year X3. So for our tax rate here, so year X1, tax rate sitting at 40%, but then for the next two years, year X2 and year X3, it actually is reduced from 40% down to 35%. And then we're going to be just looking at uh, a temporary difference here between our pre-tax financial income and our taxable income. So starting with year X1 here, pre-tax financial income is 130,000, taxable income is 90,000. So the difference here uh, gives us $40,000 worth of originated temporary difference that we have for year X1. And this is going to be a future taxable amount here because uh, looking at it here from our ta from our taxable income here, uh, we've taken an extra $40,000 worth of uh, deductions here for a taxable income versus our pre-tax financial income. So we're not going to be able to take those deductions in the future. We're going to be paying taxes on them compared to our financial income here. And then uh, we're going to be looking at year X2 and year X3 where our taxable income here of 90000 is greater than our pre-tax financial income of 70000 So this is going to set up a future deductible amount here. We're actually paying $20,000 worth, uh, we're paying taxes on $20,000 in advance for each of those two years here. So this is the case where uh, this uh, originated temporary difference in year X1 is going to reverse out here in the next two years here. So this is the case where it's that the originated temporary difference is actually a reduction here of 20000 for each of those two years here. Okay, then again, we those are going to be future deductible amounts. So the next thing we have to do is we have to determine our deferred tax liability here. So deferred tax liability is the fact that we started out with a future taxable amount. Okay, so let's look at it here. This is what we have to do. We have to determine our deferred tax liability, looking at it from our cumulative temporary differences perspective. So year X1, we have $40,000 worth of uh, temporary difference that was originated in that year here. We start out, in, for our example here, we're going to have a zero balance in our beginning uh, deferred tax liability account or any temporary difference. So we take that time, the deferred tax liability is simply the tax rate here for the first year, 40% times that uh, accumulated temporary difference here, 40000 gives us a deferred tax liability of $16,000. Now for year X2, or 20X2 here, well, our cumulative temporary difference is now moving down to $20,000. So we take our beginning amount here of $40,000 that we had, and then we reduced it here by $20,000 to the... the that reversal here at 20,000. So the difference here gives us a cumulative 20, a di temporary difference of $20,000. Take that times the new tax rate for year X2 here of 35%, and we're going to come up with a deferred tax liability of $7,000. And then for year 20X3, what we're going to do, we're going to end up with a zero amount here in our uh, cumulative temporary difference here because it reversed out completely. So we started with uh, 20,000 here that we had. 20,000 here in year X2, and now we reverse out, looking up here, a future deductible amount. Uh, we had a reversal here of 20,000, so we subtract 20,000 from our 20,000. That gives us zero cumulative temporary difference. So total amount here in year 20X1 reversed out from 40,000 here in year 20X3 to a zero amount here. Okay, so again, for a deferred tax liability here, for 20x3, well, that's just zero because we have a zero amount here times tax rate of 35%. So the next thing we have to do is we have to look at the change in our deferred tax liability here. So for our accounting purposes. Okay, so this is where we're, let's go down and look at it. So now this is where we're going to be dealing with this change in our tax rate here from 40% here in year X1 down to 35% in year X2. So looking at our deferred tax, li deferred tax liability here for year X1 at 40%. That was the tax rate here for year X1. So what we started with deferred tax liability, our beginning balance here was zero here. And then at the end of the year here, we had a deferred tax liability of 16000 That's what we calculated up here. So what we're going to need here is a net increase in our deferred tax liability account here from zero to 16000 net increase here of 16000 Okay, 
now is what we have to deal with this change in our tax rate here. So we have to account for that. So what we do here, we take that deferred tax liability ending amount here, uh, X1 year, X1 of 16,000 here, and we that becomes our, we look at that as our beginning balance here, our deferred tax liability balance at the 40% tax rate here. And then at the end of the year here, the deferred tax liability, we're going to, that's going to be 14,000. So we have to recalculate our taxes based on this, uh, that temporary difference of 40,000. So we originally had a 40% tax rate that we calculated on that 40,000 originating temporary difference. Now we have the 35% tax rate. So 35% of tax times the 40,000 uh, originated temporary difference gives us $14,000. Okay, so that becomes our deferred tax liability at the end of the year X1 after we've uh, made our change in our tax rate, $14,000. So do end of the year $14,000 and our balance at the 40% tax rate of $16,000 gives us a tax rate adjustment that we're going to have to make of a negative $2,000. $16,000 uh, is greater than the, what we need at the ending amount here at $14,000. So this is going to be our tax rate adjustment. Okay, so so now for our deferred tax liability, the change here for year X2. Well, we're going to uh, we're going to use this uh, deferred tax liability that we recalculated at the 40 percent or at the 35 percent tax rate. That becomes our beginning balance here for year X2 for the deferred tax liability of fourteen thousand dollars. Now the end of year X2, the deferred tax liability we calculated out to be seven thousand. That was we calculated up here for twenty X2 seven thousand. So. This is the case where we start out with a beginning balance fourteen thousand. We end up with a, we need a, we end up with seven thousand dollars on our deferred tax liability. So we're, in this case, we're going to need a net decrease required here of seven thousand dollars. Simply the difference here. What we started out with after recalculating our taxes based on our new our new tax rate here of thirty five percent, and we use that here as a beginning balance. Okay, so now for the change in deferred tax liability end of year X3. Well, what we have at the beginning of the amount here was the $7,000. So end of year X2, the $7,000 becomes our beginning balance here for year X3 of $7,000. And then deferred tax liability at the end of year X3 here, we have a zero amount. That's what we calculated up here. It would be a zero amount. So in this case, again, we need a net decrease required of $7,000. Simply the, the change here from the beginning of $7,000 to the end of the year here, X3, a zero. Uh, we have need a zero month in our deferred tax liability, so that is where we have the net decrease required. So here's the case where we had to first determine what our deferred tax liability was for each of those years here based on that changing tax rate. And then the second thing we had to do is we had to t determine the change in our deferred tax liability and track it over those three years here. And we had to account for that change in our tax rate here from 40% down to 35%. Okay, so now let's go up and let's look at how we'd record this. Okay, so this is what we're sitting with here. We have to, de we have to determine what our tax payable is. We have to look at our uh, deferred tax liability, what's going on in that account. And knowing our deferred tax liability and our tax payable, we can determine our tax expense. Tax expense is what's going on in the income statement. A tax payable, a liability count on the balance sheet, deferred uh, tax liability account here is also a liability here on our balance sheet. So let's start with our tax payable. That's the first thing we have to do. So looking at our three years here, we have our taxable income that we have at 90000 for each of those years. And then the tax rate, well, we have that out here. So for a year X1, we have the taxable income 90000 times a 40% tax rate gives us a current tax expense or a tax payable of $36,000. So we go and credit our tax payable account here by $36,000. And then for the next two years here, we have a tax rate goes down to 35% times our taxable income of $90,000, gives us a tax payable of $31,500 for each of those years here. So for each of those years here, year X2 and year X3, we would credit or increase our tax payable by $31,500. Okay, so we've taken care of our current tax expense or our tax payable. Now we have to ha handle our deferred tax liability. So remember here, we started out after 
We started out at the 40% tax rate here, where our deferred tax liability was $16,000 based on that 40% uh, tax rate. We started out with a zero balance, so the difference gives us a credit or increase our deferred tax liability by $16,000. Next, we have to account for that change in our tax rate. Now, remember our tax rate went down from 40% down to 35%. And we calculated, because of that, our deferred tax liability here in the change uh, had to go down by $2,000. So we would uh, debit or reduce our deferred tax liability here by $2,000. So it, it really went down here. Uh, it went down to 14000 and we started out with the 16,000 for that year here. So that's where we're gonna get the negative 2,000 here, and that reduces our deferred tax liability account here by 2,000. And then the, moving over to our tax expense on the income statement, this tax change here actually reduces our tax expense here. We credit that or reduce it here by $2,000. So you see what's going on here. Uh, reduction in our tax rate reduces our deferred tax liability, and because of that, it also reduces our tax expense. Okay, so now let's look at the uh, for year X2 here. What do we have? We start. We have the fourteen thousand that we carried over into deferred tax liability. Beginning amount seven thousand to end amount. So we ended up with again reducing our deferred tax liability by seven thousand dollars here. And then same for the next year, year X3. We started out with seven thousand. We ended up with a zero amount. So again, we're reducing our deferred tax liability by seven thousand dollars. So at the end of those. Uh, those three years here, we started out with 16,000 and then we reduced that uh, by 2,000 here for the change in our tax rate, reduction in our tax rate, and then we had the reversal of that, uh, temp or that deferred tax liability or that temporary difference over those next two years. So we ended up with a zero balance, netted out here, zero balance on a deferred tax liability at the end of the um, third year here. Okay, so now we determine what our tax payable is, our deferred tax liability. Now we can determine what our tax expense here would be on the income statement. So just looking at our first year here, that actually becomes a plug here. So we can go up here and look at our tax payable. We had a credit here of 36,000. Deferred tax liability, we have a credit here of 16,000. So our balancing amount is going to have to be a debit or increase in our tax expense here by 50. 52, about 252,000. Tax payable of 36,000 plus the deferred tax liability of 16,000 gives us a tax expense here of $52,000. Okay, so that's our tax expense here for year X1. And then we'll look, so look at it year X2 here. Well, actually year X2, well, we have here a credit. Well, let's look at year X2 here. We had that credit for our tax payable or increase in our current amount here of taxes of 31,000 plus we have the reduction here of 7,000 under deferred tax liability for that change. Plus, we also have the change in our tax rate. So year X2, we're gonna account for the change in our tax rate here of 2,000 plus the 7,000 here for in our change in our deferred tax liability account. Uh, that's gonna, uh, that, those debit amounts here of 9,000 plus our credit here of 31,000 is gonna give us a balance, a debit balance that we need here in our tax expense of $24,500. So our deferred tax liability here, 2,000 plus 7,000 here is gonna reduce our tax expense here for year X2 here. So the change in tax rate comes into year X2 here. So that's where we, uh, our tax expense is going to be reduced by the $2,000 for the change in tax rate, and the, uh, it's going to be increased here for $24,000 just based on our debits and credits. Credit here, $31,500. Uh, debit here, reducing that here by $7,000 here, and also reducing it here by $2,000 here for. So the net amount is going to give us $24,500 for tax expense. And the same thing for the next year here. Well, in this case, it's just the debit here of 7,000 reduction in our deferred tax liability, credit here of our tax payable of 31,500. So the balancing amount goes into our tax expense here, $24,500. So you see what's going on here. When we had the change in our tax rate, where our tax rate actually re went down, we that reduced our deferred tax liability. That re and then consequently that reduces our tax expense. And then in this case, we actually had a reversal of our deferred tax liability here uh, 
for each of the next two years here. We're reversed out, we're gonna have a zero balance here. And by reversing out or re reducing our deferred tax liability, we reduced our tax expense. Okay, so that takes care of uh, recording it. Now let's go down to our income tax expense section here on income statement, just looking at 20X2. So this is how we'd report it here. Income before taxes, that was that pre-tax financial income here for year 20X2, 70,000. And then we just break out our income tax expense. Current portion here, 31,500. So that was what we had here, that 31,500 for our tax payable, that's actually our tax payable here. And then we'd have to break out our deferred portion here in our tax rate adjustment chain. So our deferred tax liability, that we actually reduced our taxes here by $7,000. So that is gonna reduce our income tax expense here, $7,000. And then for our tax rate restraint, uh, change here, that actually reduced our deferred tax liability by $2,000. So the, the $2,000 here is gonna reduce our income tax expense. So netting our 31,500, the current tax payable here, less the deferred portion of 7,000 and our tax rate adjustment of 2,000 is gonna give us a net amount here of a tax expense of $22,500. Okay, so that can take our uh, total income tax expense that we netted out here at $22,500 from our income before taxes of $70,000. So we're gonna have net income here showing at $47,500. So the point is, key point is here when you're doing your income tax section here on your income statement, you start out with your income before taxes. That would be pre-tax financial income. But because we had this deferred tax liability, in this case, it didn't reduce our, it didn't increase our tax expense. It was reversing out here in that second year here. So it actually reduced our income tax expense. So that the case here, you had your current portion here, you have to uh, break out your deferred portion. In this case, it reduced our income tax expense by 7,000. And also our tax rate adjustment due to the fact that we went down in our taxes here from 40% down to 35%. That actually, again, reduced our deferred tax liability here by $2,000. So in this case, you can see that they're reducing here, uh, our, our income tax expense here, the current portion is being reduced by the deferred portion here of 7,000 and our tax rate adjustment here of 2,000. So we could go back and look at that in our accounts here. So we started out with the 31,500 here, current tax payable for the year here, but it was reduced by the tax rate change here. And then the change in our deferred tax liability work reduced out here by 2,000 for change, 7,000 here for the deferred tax liability. So that's what we're showing here. So that's how you would have to take care of your report your income tax expense section here on the income state for statement here for 20x2. Just remember here, uh, deferred tax liability, because it reversed out here, it reduced our income tax expense. And because we had a adjustment in our tax rate from 40% uh, down to 35%, that also reduced our income tax expense or de reduce their deferred tax liability. Okay, so that'll take care of our example here where we have this, we just had one temporary difference that we had to deal with over a three year period here, but we had the change in our tax rate where the tax rate actually reduced. It started out at 40, 30% and then it was reduced down to 35%. Okay, so that'll take care of our example here uh, for this deferred tax accounting.